the H-13 originally was not developed for an evacuation vehicle. It was originally developed so that artillery observers could get up over the terrain. It morphed into its role. This one was actually developed from the get-go to be a true multi-role piece of equipment. It could carry rocket pods, it could carry machine guns, it could carry cargo and soldiers, and it was also specifically designed from the beginning that it would have a version that would allow us to have litters. Patients could lie on the litters, they could lie on the open floor, and they could also take these seats back in the back. If we go back to the Korean War, what we have is men flying outside of the aircraft. This, we can put them inside. You're not subjected to the weather. You're not subjected to the, that fearful ride of just being hanging out in midair. But there's also a change in theory because one of the things we're doing is we have improved the capability of the medic in the field. Before we load them on the aircraft, now we can put treatment crew on the aircraft to continue treatment in flight. We have long range radios that allow information to be taken from the helicopter and forward to the hospitals where the men will eventually be taken. And once they arrive, because they know they're coming, it's not just Radar or O'Reilly saying, I hear rotors, they know they're coming because of radio, they know how many, this communication platform is also going to improve the outcome of the patients. Being able to take more men, faster, a greater distance, with much more lifting capacity, with a full crew for navigation, communication, and patient treatment, this is a game changer.